Colorado Springs, y'all. <laughs> Poor Denver. I was thinking about maybe doing my rims, swapping them over. All right, so me auto update. We're adding wheel spacers so we can add even cooler tires. Let's see what's right here. That fucking jack is titties, dude. I looked around for your midget half inch extension for so long, and it was attached to the longer half inch extension. <laughs> so mad. So mad when you finally found you, son oh, of a bitch! It's right here! <laughs> the entire fucking time. Yeah, that's pretty sad. That sucks. Sorry, I got it done though. You ever find the breaker bar? No. I never found it either. It's here somewhere. Or did we break it? We might have broke the breaker bar. Probably broke it. We might have. It wouldn't surprise me. No. Definitely not. Yes. Mm. The tires are gonna look like mine. Yeah. Roll the skate steps. Wheels. Can you jacket some more? There you go. Monster truck it. Yeah, that's awesome. It's something. You have to beat the fuck out of your fenders. Now I need those lug nuts that I took back to O'Reilly. Why? Because these aren't long enough. So you want to go to O'Reilly's for a brother? No. I'll call them. No. You're mine. Son of a bitch. Need bigger lug nuts. Yeah. Your that fender's is. not even. Yeah, that's just gonna push your. Oh, fender I gotta take the, the fender off anyway to do the wide body. So this oh, is yeah. coming off. Those are getting cut. Your it's front good. fender, your back, all of it. Yeah, it's all gotta come off. Uh, oh yeah. So as I expected, the fenders are in the way. So now they're not. Looks like the rear may need to be cut, but that's fine. I assume so. And then the wide body can go on. But right now I got Russell. Hitting O'Reilly for the acorn lug nuts because my um, whatchamacallies, my locking nuts don't thread all the way through, and these are really, really, really long. So, yeah, almost done. And there he is, right on time. So, we're going from this. looking like what I cut out of the front edge of the fender where the tire was super close wasn't enough so I need to go into the actual fender meat and I see a lot of guys they just cut a square out it's sad and then I see guys tape it and then again cutting with a circular wheel on a circle I guess is super hard so what I'm gonna do is show you how I was taught to cut things with a radius um, if you don't have a compass. So the way I was taught is you get a compass and this was working with sheet metal growing up. My, my old man did a lot of sheet metal work. You can use this compass to set a size. Say for example, if you needed a circle that was a quarter inch around, you just set it to a quarter inch and make a circle, just like a regular compass in school. But what I've been taught in the new school way, because you're using a tape measure to set up your compass anyway, what you do is you take yourself some wire snippers and then take your wire snippers and your tape measure and then you're going to take the tape measure on the end of it here and take the corner and just barely, I mean barely, barely, barely cut off a very tiny sliver of that corner and it's going to make a sharp kind of edge if you can see that. We'll do it to both of them. Having good cutters works better. And then if you can see, what we've done is make two little sharp jagged edges on each, one on each corner. 
what this will give you the ability to do is set however far up you're wanting to go into your fender or your metal or whatever you lock it see how that's exactly following the curve of the rim by putting the edge you feel me Put the edge of that right there and you follow the curve of your fender and then when you get to the edge out here obviously you can stop wherever your line is going to be and then take a marker and you know do it artsy fartsy but the point is is while you're dragging this back and forth across it you can press down on either side of this and it's going to give you this really solid scratch mark if you can see that there that will tell you exactly where to cut you can go back with a marker and darken that in but it's going to be exact for both sides because you know your measurement all right